All right, we're going here, coffee's brewing, and I'm gonna give a shot at drawing a human figure uh, by request. Well, let me think. How, how does this work? You know, the, the human figure is really complex. And what I would suggest doing is uh, getting... Is, is it George Bridgman? I looked on my bookshelf and I found out that I have given my copy away many years ago. And, uh, and, I, and I don't have it anymore. <laughs> it's, just, it's gone. I don't know who I even gave it to. Because, uh, you, you know, you kind of get the idea... You get it down, and then and then you know you've you've sort of got it down. Because what what Bridgman does is he gives you good ways to uh, really think about things. And I'll I'll try to convey some of that here. You know what? How I think of the human figure is. Uh, let's deal with the torso first. You know I think of the rib cage, which is which is the shape kind of like this here, and then you've got the spine. You know which from the side. Uh, in the thoracic area, the chest area, higher up area, I guess, goes out and it comes back in. And then, then you've got the uh, hips. And uh, the, uh, yeah, I'm drawing a hip bone. Alright, so you've got these two masses basically connected by just a column of bones all right and muscles and the muscles stretch and and uh, move the bones so what what you think uh, you know when you're drawing the figure is that these two you know the, while they don't move independently the movements of one affect the other you, you don't you want to avoid thinking of the torso like a brick okay you know, because it's really not like that. You know, no, it's not a brick. All right. So let's let's uh, really simplify these shapes, kind of. You know, as much as much as we sensibly can. You know. So you've got that, and you've got that, and then the uh, neck rises above that. And, you know, this, I think, you know, the rib cage is kind of like this, and then you've got your shoulder girdle up here, and then your arms hanging off of there. But let's, let's just think of this mass. Think of these masses together. And, uh, so, you've got, you got head, uh, chest, and then the pelvis area. And all of these turn, they, they, you know, they can turn in different directions at different times. And that's one, not one thing, I mean, that, that's the thing to realize when you're, when you're wanting to draw dynamic things, you know, draw, draw dynamic figures, is that, you know, you can have your head, remember our, our, Remember our head from the other day? Head's going that way. And uh, the, uh, our body, our head's going that way. Our chest is going that way. And then, you know, our, and, you know, good way to, I'm drawing the ball and socket joint of the arm just to communicate what I'm thinking effectively you know and and that's kind of this is the back by the way with the I'll put those shoulder blades in there just so we know shorthand shorthand ideas let's put our ooh remember the hand from the other day fingers see that and then we can come down below and then our hips are turned the 
this other direction. You know, we can really make that more dynamic by putting this other arm over here. Like I said, a head, a head might be a little bit exaggerated, but hopefully that just helps us. All right. So there is our basic idea, and man, I hope I am communicating that. I hope I hope this is coming through. You know, let me know if it's not. There's our five-minute pitch for today. I th I think what I'll do actually, I'll untweak this just a little bit so it doesn't look too out of whack. And if you want to make it too out of whack, you can do that too. You know, it's always acceptable among. Uh, Cartoonists, you know, you realistic people, though, you're on your own. You are stuck within the confines of natural human motion. Don't envy you. Okay. All right, well, I think that's that's our uh, six minutes today. Um, I'll work on this again some more, and I'll probably just end up doing the same thing and just giving you all more examples because... This is something that you you just repeti repetitively do, repetitively practice um, until you can get it down. Um, and yeah, that's it. Have fun with that. We'll do this again. All right, bye bye.